This came for you in the last post. Is that the letter that tells you if they'll see you? Yes, I think it must be. Well, open it then. Oh, go on, don't keep us in suspense. I want it so much, I can't bear to find out I've not got it. Give it to me then. <laughs> well, they are going to test you. Oh, they are. But by heck, it's the day after tomorrow. I don't give you much time. Oh, this was posted ten days ago. It must have got lost. He'll be fine. He knows his stuff. Of course he does. Doesn't he, Daisy? He does, yeah. What's this? Alfred's got his test at the Ritz. I'm happy for you, Alfred. Anna. That's the gong. I shouldn't worry, Mr Bates. She's got ever so much on her plate. Haven't we all? Oh, bravo! Oh, She's right. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, take them up and say you cooked them. I couldn't. Well, Mr Carson can say it. And what are they supposed to do? Hang out the flags? Oh, don't grudge him his success. I don't. I just can't see the fun in a life changed to a stove. Are the savouries ready to go up? They certainly are. <laughs> I say, well done. We'll be sorry to lose you, Alfred, but I think you'll pass your test. Fingers crossed, my lady. When is it? The day after tomorrow. I'm going up in the morning. Our best wishes go with you. <coughs> I'm going up myself tomorrow. Oh? Just for the day, to visit Michael's office. I'll be back for dinner. My name is Arsène Avignon. I am the sous chef of the Ritz. Today, you are going to make four dishes. Is that clear? Then, if you have no questions, we will begin. In 1917, at a sister hotel in New York, the chef, Monsieur Dia, altered the soup made popular by Monsieur Gouff and the great Monsieur Escoffier. What did he do? He served it cold. Very good. Yes, it was eaten cold. Previously, the name had been a simple one, leek and potato soup. But what was it called now? Vichyssoise. It was Vichyssoise. So, do you all have the instructions before you? Please begin. Well, Mr. Nugent, you've done quite well. I know I can do better, sir, if you give me a chance. I know it. You haven't chosen to make your living in the kitchen before now. No, you see, my mother was keen. You have worked instead as a footman for the Earl of Grantham? I have, yes. And this has made you unhappy? I'll not say that. But I want to do more with my life. I see. Well, we have difficult decisions ahead, but don't worry. We won't keep you waiting. 